Hey guys, Mike Denhartog here from Florida Drone Supply. And as of this post, we don't have retail pricing information yet for the new product from DJI, but we are taking names and information on the new Mavic 2 Enterprise Dual Advanced. Enterprise dealers will have a training session in the coming hours, and we will update you with more information as we get it. Please post your questions so we can ask them for you during this training session. That'll help us get more information and more questions to ask them. If you'd like to be emailed an update on information as we get it, please fill out our inquiry form on the website and request a quote. The link is here on the screen and will be in the description below. That way you can have that readily available for you. Those forms fill out and as soon as we have pricing information available, we'll reach out to you and keep you updated. The short version is that the new aircraft has a few upgrades and two new optical sensors built onto one platform one visual and one thermal. The visual camera is a 48 megapixel camera with a half inch CMOS sensor. It has a 4X digital lossless zoom and a 32X total digital zoom. The thermal sensor has a thermal resolution of 640 by 512 at 30 Hertz, which is a staggering four times resolution increase over the original Mavic 2 Enterprise Duo, which we've all learned to love so much. The new aircraft's thermal camera will also support spot metering and area thermal measurements, as well as having a 16x thermal digital zoom with a plus or minus two degree accuracy level. In early images, it appears that the controls mimic that of the Matrice 300 with the very nice tap and switch between visual, thermal, and split view feeds for different project types. Sometimes you like the different view. The new aircraft will also have a discrete mode for first responders, mobile SDK, self-heating batteries, air sense, and now password protection features, as well as the original Beacon Spotlight speaker from the previous Mavic 2 Enterprise line. It will also have a new removable RTK module. We don't know yet if the accessories will be interchangeable, but we assume they will because they'll be using the same micro USB port on the top of the aircraft. The RTK module is not compatible with the earlier existing versions of the Enterprise aircraft. We have been told at this time. The removable RTK module three is a centimeter level RTK accuracy device that attaches the top of the aircraft, allowing for more precise photogrammetry and more robust GPS signal reception. It also has an in-trip compatible sensor, giving you even more versatility. And DJI has also stuck with the smart controller for the control and both the flight performance and the waypoint mission features have been optimized in the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. The aircraft can now accommodate up to 240 waypoints for autonomous missions with an increased battery life and range as well. DJI is boasting that they can get 10 kilometer video transmission range with the existing OcuSync 2.0 technology. Again, post your questions and as we learn more throughout the day, We'll be happy to keep you up to date. For a full list of specs, see the link in our website to the description, as well as sign up for the quote. You can also search for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duo Advanced on our website, floridadronesupply.com. Let's go ahead and check out some of your questions here. Um, is there an optical zoom on the visual camera? No, the Mavic 2 Enterprise uh, Advanced does not have an optical zoom. It does support 32X digital zoom, but not an optical zoom. It does have a 4X lossless zoom though. All right, um, does the Mavic 2 support swappable cameras? Camera swapping is not currently supported. When the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is on the waypoint mission mapping missions or oblique missions, will the thermal camera take images as well? Yes, two types of images will be taken at all times and stored on the SD card, both the thermal and the visual spectrums. Okay, what's the difference between the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the Mavic 2 Enterprise Duo? Well, we talked about that. It's the camera basically, and we actually have the RTK ability as well. All right, is the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced a waterproof? No, it is not. Please do not fly it in the rain. It will not do well. Uh, can the remote controller for the Mavic 2 Enterprise or Mavic 2 Enterprise Duo be used for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced? The DJI Smart Controller is compatible with all the three models. Uh, which app is the, Ma the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced compatible with? DJI Pilot on the Android platform. Uh, third party apps developing are being developed now for the mobile SDK, but the uh, Pilot app on the Android platform is what's being 
sent out with it. Um, can I measure the temperature on the thermal images taken using uh, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced in post processing? Yes. Uh, we'll have more details on that coming soon, but there is going to be post processing software for the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. How many waypoints can I set in the mission? We talked about that. It was 240 waypoints in each mission. The Mavic 2 uh, Enterprise support iOS version. No, it's only going to be an Android version as of now. Can I add timestamp watermarks to the photos taken? Yes, this will be supported, but only on the visible light spectrum camera. All right. Um, how do I run firmware upgrades on the Mavic 2? This will be the same as it was before. You'll just run those with the controller, or you can use the software with the um, application. Does the Flight Hub support? No, it does not support the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced. Can I use the uh, Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced for aerial spraying? Not at this time. It does not meet the accuracy requirements for that. Um, also, I'm not sure payload-wise if you'd be able to do so. Uh, which accessories from the Mavic 2 Enterprise series are compatible with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced series? The protector case, the speaker, the spot, the beacon, um, and the extended port covers, accessories bags, batteries, propeller, chargers, and charging station can be used for the Mavic 2 Enterprise. With the RTK module installed, does the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced still fit in the protector case? The answer is yes. Is the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced RTK module compatible with the Mavic 2 Enterprise and Duo? No. The RTK module is only compatible with the advanced version, does not support the earlier versions of the Enterprise. Is the PPK supported on the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced? No, it is not at this time. Can the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced be used with the DRTK2 mobile station for the Phantom 4 RTK and Matrice series? And the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced is currently not compatible with the DRTK2 mobile station, please connect via Intrip, and uh, hopefully there will be some updates in the future on that as well. Uh, I think that is all we have for questions this time. My name is Mike Denhartog. Leave us your comments and questions in the comments section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.